Wagon, locally owned and a proud sponsor of local sports. Take a test drive with the award-winning locally made VW Atlas, the Boy Tech Center for Orthopedic Care. <clears throat> no matter if it's a sports injury, a work injury, or just an accident at home, call the Boy Tech Center and they've got you covered. Boytech.com. Also, Chick-fil-A. Pick up your tailgating food at Chick-fil-A. Uh, we, we pass there many a time, Gay, and <laughs> yeah. every once in a while you just hear the chicken calling you and you have to get in there. Dale's Heating and Air, our good buddies at Dale's Heating and Air. Just call dales.com. Uh, Gay, I've also got some um, final stats. Have you gone over the final stats yet? No, I have not. Go ahead. All righty. we got to get us some starters down here in just a second, and we'll uh, we'll go over some final stats for the girls' contest. The Bradley girls go to 19-0 on the season, 7-0 in district play. The Lady Raiders fall to 19 and 8 overall, 6 and 2 in, in district play. Uh, let's see, I, I, the, the things that stuck out to me, Bradley shot 52% from the floor for the game and held Cleveland to 27%. The, the big key in the ball game after a 12-7 first quarter, the Barrett's put up two touchdowns, 14 to nothing in the second quarter, and that was the, that was it. That was it for the for the ball game as the Bears put it on cruise control the rest of the way for a 60 to 31 win. Uh, individual point totals for the Barrettes. Uh, Kamora Fields led the way with 16 points, eight big rebounds. Stone Carpenter with three points. Avery Brewer with 15 big points. Harmony Ware with 10 points. Hannah Jones with 13. Grace Phillips with a point. Malia Wilcox with a point to round out the scoring for the Barrettes. Uh, the, for the Cleveland Lady Raiders, uh, Addison Hurst had three points, Paige Moody with four, Jaden Lee with six, Lauren Hurst with eight, Milo Williams with five, Tyria Tanner with two, and Emma Smith hit a shot from downtown to round out the scoring for the Lady Raiders. I was looking at turnovers, Gary. 27 turnovers for the Lady Raiders. The bad defense, they, and 17 turnovers for the Barrettes. That just tells you Cleveland was playing hard to the bitter end because uh, I don't remember Bradley having 17 turnovers in a ball game yet. And not usually when you win one like that. Right. Uh, but Coach uh, Bruce told us in the past, you know, he's got certain goals or right. matrices that he has for every for six categories on offense and five on defense. And he says we need to hit all of, that we can of there. But uh, we and do they, have another final on Mountain View Nissan scoreboard. Walker Valley Girls won tonight a district matchup with McMillan County, 45 to 40 the matchup over McMillan County there in that game there from Walker Valley. So uh, glad, glad to report that score along there to you as well. And let's, yeah, let's take another time out. Yeah, let's go ahead and get, take us another time out. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking here at the end of the quarters. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, interventional pain consultants, Dr. Josh Hare and all the fine folks over there. We appreciate them being one of our fine sponsors. And, you know, Gary, we need to try to find see if we can get a report on uh, Grace. Was it Gracie that, that fell and got hurt over there a while ago? Grace Phillips? Yes, Grace Phillips. Uh, the, our do direct primary care injury report. We'll see if we can't get some information on that and, and pass it on to you here as we come back. Uh, we appreciate our a uh, good la uh, lady back at the Keeley, back at the studio, keeping pushing the buttons and keeping us on there. We are about six minutes away from the the, men, the boys' contest, Bradley and Cleveland. The house is packed. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back in two minutes.
From Jim Smead Arena here at Bradley Central. Three games under our belt here tonight with one game more to go on the radio. We've had the girls game completed 60-31 the best, win it, maintain their unbeaten streak. And the Bears trying to get back in the district race. They've got two losses, one to Cleveland. Cleveland's unbeaten in the district, so the Bears would like nothing better than to put a loss on them. Cleveland can basically clinch the district with a win here tonight, except they've still got McMinn with only one loss behind him, too. Well, they're in the driver's seat like the Bears are, uh, Gary, and so this will, tonight's uh, outcome will go a long way toward that district tournament uh, seedings. Uh, very quickly, the JV girls game went to the Barrettes, 47-37. JV boys action was close for a while but the, the Bears eased out to a 68-50 win and the the Barrettes just finished a 60-30 win over the Lady Raiders so 3-for-3 three for, three for, the, for the Bradley teams and the Bears looking to pull off the upset tonight. Well you never know what could happen here we've seen these two teams by the way let, let me give you some information here real quick like the Bears lead the overall series 89 to 56 that's after 145 games played coach carpenter in his second year is two and one against cleveland coach tucker is 11 and three against the bears and he's in his seventh season coach carpenter in his second season so you got two pretty wily coaches that and, and like we've talked before there's nothing new that one team's going to try the other doesn't know oh no uh -uh. the scouting reports uh, all the huddle uh, videos you can watch on the uh, internet now. You know, you, you try no to. There's no secrets. You it's just a matter of execution. Right, right. You try to save a wrinkle or two, but there are no secrets at this time of the year. So you just got to out execute your team, play defense, and shoot the basketball. Looking at our upcoming broadcast schedule here on Mix and or possibly on Buzz, depending on how things fall. We won't have another broadcast till the 27th. That should be Friday, the 27th. One week from this coming Friday as we'll take this rest of the week off. Everybody's on the road. Then we'll have a home game here with Ray County and district matchup for the Bears and Barretts. And then Terry and Greg on the 31st, they'll be back on Tuesday. Two weeks from tonight, they'll have the Cleveland Udawal broadcast. That'll be senior night, we're told, at Cleveland High School. And then on Friday the 3rd, as we get into February already, we'll have a doubleheader with Walker Valley at Cleveland and Bradley at McMinn. And that will be the defining moments, I do believe, yep, yep. in district play this year. And you know the district tournament over at Cleveland High School this year, Gary, and uh, it'll be rocking and rolling. It's, uh, it's nice to have it here in town. Let's go ahead and let me give a starting line since you're going to do the play-by-play, -play, and then we'll take a quick break here on Mix 104.1. For the Bears, they'll start a 6'5", junior number zero, Caden Botts. 5'11", senior number one, Trevor Carpenter. 6'2", junior number two, D. Reed. 6'2", sophomore, number two, 21, or Marion Taylor. I interviewed him earlier today. Hope you get the chance to see that on YouTube. And number 33, a 6'7", senior, Jackson Area for Cleveland. They'll start number four, Ariane Thomas, a senior. Number five, Judah Salt, a senior. Number 11, Jason Brooks, a senior. Number 22, Alex Hyder, a senior. And number 23, Gabe Leeper, uh, also a senior. Five senior starters for the Raiders of Coach Reggie Tucker. Bass course coached by Zach Cobder. And that, of course, was the Honda of Cleveland starting lineup. Yep, let's take a quick one-minute break as they'll start to introduce the lineups here and be back in one minute on Mix 104.1 with tonight's game. the high school basketball right here on Mix 104.1 and we're on Mix TV and and about everything else. Bayer Network, they, they got us covered tonight, Gary. I tell you what, the Bears and the Raiders are just about ready to tip it off. The Lady 
the Bears took care of the ladies contest in, in a big way, and the Bears trying to pull the upset and make it a four-game sweep tonight, which doesn't happen a whole lot, four-game sweep. I was looking around at the crowd, the Bradley student body and the Cleveland student body, all, they've been standing all night long, and they're not going to sit down now, you can bet. And we've got almost 100% full house here. But maybe could squeeze a few folks in here. All kinds of folks in the standing room only yep. up here. Where, oh, that's the section for the folks that absolutely can't stand to sit down, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> you'll look and you'll see people in a corner, and then they'll move around. And, and uh, it's it's fun to watch folks. Have, you know, some people just can't, can't stand it. You know, usually parents. Some parents have to pace, you know, a lot. And some some have to sit still, sit down, sit still. But it's, uh, it's really fun to watch as, as they go along. And uh, any way you got to do it to get yourself through the ball game and without having a heart attack, that's Way to do it. That's right. Should be a great game here tonight on Mix 104.1. We are just about ready for our Chattanooga Auto Square tip-off. The PA is playing Welcome to the Jungle, and uh, fans are fired up. We are ready to go. Jackson, Ari, and Judas Salt to tip it off. Tip goes to the Bears, and we are underway. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast. Brian Grissom, Gary Ormby, live and in color from the gym. Jim Smitty Arita, Bears with the basketball. D. Reed out front to Jackson Eric. Raiders playing their tough man-to-man -man defense like they always do. No Coach Reggie Tucker over on the side. Here's a pass. Caden Botts, first points of the ball game. Bears up 2-0. Coach Tucker over there, he was like he was playing defense with them right there. I love to watch the coaches work the ball game. Out front is Gabe Reaper with the basketball. Stolen away, Trevor Carpenter. Bears on the run, Carpenter to the hole, puts it up and in. So very quickly, that was a Springdale hitting an air steal by Trevor that time. Very quickly, Bears on top, four nothing. Out front, Jason Brooks with the basketball. He runs the show and is the main man for the Raiders. But they are a really good basketball team, folks. If you haven't seen this Raider team play, you're missing something. Ranked Here's, number nine this week in the latest poll. They the are ranked number nine in the state of Tennessee. There's Arion Thomas puts it up and in. And the Raiders are on the board. Bears lead 4-2. Just getting started here from Smitty Arena. D. Reed gives it up in the corner, gets it back to Botts. Botts puts it up and in. So the Bears have hit their first three shots. If you hit every shot, Gary, it'll, it'll look good for you. <laughs> Here's a long three-pointer. Alex Hodder, no good. Rebound, Caden Botts. Bears on the run. Number 21, Ram Taylor out front. He'll slow it up. Give it up to Carpenter. The Raiders, they'll play man-to-man -man the entire night. And the rank number nine, as Gary said, in the... Cole Carpenter pulls up, picks up his dribble over in the corner. D. Reed, Reed drives the paint, gives it up to Botts. Botts will back it back out. Bears in no hurry. They'll, they'll be very patient and try to work it in for a good shot. Caden Botts out in the corner. And now they start to play. Pass inside Jackson Airy. Airy tries to back his man down. Shot no good. Rebound goes to the Raiders and Thomas. Cleveland on the run. There's a ball. Oh, that ball was, I don't think there was anybody in that corner. It just slipped out of his hand. Gary went 15 rows deep. <laughs> I, I, everybody's having a good life over there, so I guess everybody's okay. <laughs> now that ball, I thought it was a pass, and, and it, it just slipped out of his hands, and went, I, I guarantee it went 15 rows deep. I've never <laughs> seen a ball go that far. No, up and, and it was hot, too. Wow. It was coming in hot. <laughs> Turnover Raiders, Bears with a basketball and a 6-2 lead. Carpenter, three-point land, zip. Trevor Carpenter puts the balls up 9-2. to The Rouse are hot. Here's a turnover. Still by Caden Botts over in the corner. Springdale hitting in there still. And the Bears are ready to play. Boy, they come out hot. Just like the game against Walker Valley the other night. Couldn't draw it up any better. 9-2. to two, Bears on top. We're almost halfway through the first quarter. Four and a half minutes to play. Here's a... Charge on Caden Botts. That was good defense that time by Judas Salt. 
as he was set and Caden kind of lowered his shoulder just a little bit. Caden's mother played basketball at Cleveland High School. A lot of people I don't got, remember got, that far back. Got a lot of stories. His there's granddad played at Bradley Center. Yeah. So he's got his jersey we tied up here on the yeah. wall. There's a box hanging in the, the center we talked about. Here's a pass inside the sauce, stripped away. D. Reed with the quick hands, and the Bears will take it the other direction. Reed pulls up, Jackson A with the loose ball. Give back to Ram Taylor. Now the Bears will restore order. Tried to get inside the area, it does. Shot is no good, but a foul is gonna be called Remember! Remember! on number five, Judah Salt. First foul of the ball game on the Raiders. And that was a good job by Jackson A. He took it strong to the hole, Gary. That's what we've been wanting him to do all season. I talked to him today, had an interview with him this, this morning with, with Coach Carpenter, and uh, I said, we've seen the Jackson A that we want to see. He's got two younger kids, some brothers, uh, Smith A and Anderson A in middle school. First free throw by Jackson. The Cleveland Utilities free throw is no good. Second free throw. Rattles around and falls in, so it's a 10-2 bear lead with 4.13 to go on the Stanley Concrete game clock. There's still D. Reed, he's going to slam it. He missed the slam dunk. Oh, my goodness, that would have been a highlight for him, but he missed it, Gary. <laughs> they got the crowd fired up, though. That's right. He didn't get his coach fired up, though. <laughs> got to have those two points. 4.05 to go as the ball goes out of bounds off of the Bears. Crowd just buzzing, waiting for something to happen. Jason Brooks out front with the basketball. He'll set it up for the Raiders. Ram Taylor knocks it away. Brooks gets it back. Here's Leaper. Leaper stepped out of bounds. Turnover Raiders. The Leaper's a transfer came here from Sweetwater last year. He grew up about halfway through the season last year. Gary was a real factor for the Raiders. And looks to me like he's grown an inch or two since last season. 10 to 2. Bears with the basketball in the lead. Area out front gives it up to Taylor. Inside, Trevor Carpenter. Carpenter, he's swarmed. Here's a three pointer. Caden Botts, no good. Rebound goes to Jason Brooks. Raiders on the run. Leaper pulls it up. Back to Brooks. Bears get back on defense. Brooks, cross court to Salt. Salt drives baseline. Can't get there. Had Thomas wide open, but he fumbles it away. He runs it down before it goes out of bounds. Number 22, Alex Hyder with the basketball. Here goes Salt. Tries to throw it over in the corner to Thomas, and a bad pass. Just like in the girls' game, they're trying to do too much too quick. They look up that scoreboard, they see 10 to 2, Gary, and they, they were just trying to do too much. Tried to make the extra pass and made a bad one. Turnover Raiders, as we go under three minutes to play here in the first quarter from the gym. Thank you so much for joining in the broadcast. Appreciate all of our fine sponsors getting us Bradley Cleveland basketball on the radio. There's nothing like it. Shot by Jackson Airy, no good. Rebound Jason Brooks. He thought about pulling up for a three. Teardrop in the lane is good. Jason Brooks with his first points of the ball game. Of course, he said to San Diego State for football. Yes, yes. And he could play basketball if he wanted to, but he's going to play a little football. He's got the body for it. He's built like a linebacker. Bears with the basketball. 10 to 4 lead. Here's a ball shot swatted away by Thomas. Raiders on the run. Pass inside. <laughs> oh. lead with the rejection. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, Judas Saul thought he was all by himself, but D. Reed comes flying through the lane for the block. Both teams really emotionally high playing on adrenaline right now, and my goodness. We got some athletes on the ball. Oh, play. absolutely. Raiders with the basketball. They'll throw it underneath their own bucket. Here's a two-pointer air ball. Way too strong by Hyder that time. As it was right in front of the Bradley cheering section. They let him know about it. 10-4 to four as we go under two minutes to play first quarter. D. Reed out front. Drives the lane. Has it stripped away. He gets it back. Good defense that time by Alex Hyder as he swapped the ball away. Bears out front. Trevor Carpenter, three-point land, no good. Rebound goes to Jason Brooks. Raiders on the run. Bears get back. Here's a three-pointer. Brooks, no good. Rebound goes to Caden Botts. Botts will lead the break, and he's going to pull it up now. 
Here's a pass inside, Jackson A, too far. Into the cheerleaders it goes, turnover bears. Yeah, he was going to do the old alley-oop there, and Caden turned around the coast, that's my fault. It was, uh, the alley was there, the oop was not. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have them both, it's gonna be successful. <laughs> One twenty-one to go first quarter. Raiders with the basketball, Leaper gives it up to Salt, back to Jason Brooks as they run the weave. Thought about a three-pointer. Here's an open three-pointer, Alex Hyder, no good. Rebound goes to D. Reed. That's one thing the Bears have done. They've only allowed Cleveland one shot here in the first quarter. Here's the ball, to take it away. Jason Brooks with the steal. He's on the run, loses the handle. And Leaper picks up the loose ball. Here's a three-pointer. Arion Thomas knocks down the three-pointer. Was that a three-pointer? No, yeah. Uh, I thought he might have been on the line. Time out on the floor. Coach Reggie Tucker wants to talk things over. 30 Ten, seconds for Cleveland. 10 to 7, 30 second timeout. We'll take one with them. We'll be right back. Bears leading at 10 to 7 here for the first time out of the game call with 48.8 to go in the third and the first here. Bears won 60 31 tonight. Both JV games went to the Bradley squads. Fires with the basketball. Inbounds pass is knocked away by Leaper as Cleveland are going to apply a little full court press here with 47 seconds to go in the first quarter. Bears lead 10 to 7. Bears were up 10 to 2. Cleveland scored the last five points and we're to down to a three point Bear lead. Ram Taylor from the corner, shot no good. Rebound Leaper, and the Raiders are on the run. Brad is taking low percentage shots right now. Yes, they are. That one was an ill-advised. Leaper gives it up to Salt. Salt back to Brooks. Brooks thought about a three, changed his mind over here. Wide open. Julius Salt, shot no good. Rebound to the Bears. Trevor Carpenter out front. He's going to be trapped and knocked down. And the fight for the fight for the ball is finally. Bradley was trying, desperate, trying to call a timeout, and it's so noisy in here. They couldn't hear him. There's no way that the, the, the referee could hear Zach that time. Zach's an unhappy camper. He was trying, but he just couldn't do it. Oh. I'm glad he didn't get a technical, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Here's a long three-pointer, wild shot, no good, at the buzzer, and that is the way we end the first quarter. After one quarter of play, 10 to seven, Bears on top of Raiders uh, as we at the end of the quarter. That's what I'm looking for. End of the quarter, interventional pain consultants. We appreciate all the fine folks and our sponsors. We'll be back in one minute. <laughs> To high school basketball right here on the Mix 104.1. Brian Grissom, Gary Romby live and in color. Boy, I tell you, those, those referees, they, they all set it down on them in a hurry over there. you gotta yeah. got to pay attention or it'll be a turnover. Bears with the basketball as we start the second quarter. Here's a driving layup. Caden Botts. Boy, that was nice. He was up in the air. I thought he was going to dunk it good. He can get up there. Man, he, he's 6'5", but, man, he can float. Gabe Leeper out front with the basketball for the Raiders. 
Bears lead 12-7, Raiders with the basketball. Jason Brooks puts the move on, gives it up due to Saul inside, shot no good, but he is fouled. By number 21, that is Ram Taylor, picks up his first foul of the ball game for the Bears. On our Mountain View Nissan scoreboard, after one period, Walker Valley 19, McMinn County 16, and the girls' final went to Walker Valley 45 to 40 on our Mountain View Nissan scoreboard. On our Bradley Concrete game clock, 7.27 to go, second quarter. As Judas Saul hits the first free throw, that's his first point of the night. Cleveland and Bradley. It's been a dandy so far. I expect this one to go right down to the wire. Second free throw, Salt, good. He knocks them both in, and it's 12 to nine. Bears up by three with the basketball. Trevor Carpenter will slow it down just for a moment as he gets across the timeline with a couple of ticks to spare. Over to Jackson Airy, back to Botts out front. Botts looking for a cutter to the hole. Macias Daniel in the ball game for the Bears. He's camped out over here in the corner waiting on three. Ball tipped away still by the Raiders. Salt gives it up to Hyder, back to Leeper. Leeper thought about a three, still now he lets it go, and he hits it. Usually when they fake two or three times, they don't hit it, but he yeah. hit that one. We're tied, 12 front, Bradley up 10 to two at one point, now it's 12-12. Brand new ball game. So that's a 10 to two run by the Raiders to tie this thing at 12 apiece. Jackson Airy to the hole. Beautiful job with the left hand. And Airy puts the Bears back on top, 14-12. Leaper out front with the basketball. He picks up his dribble, he's in trouble. Gives it up to Salt, and this is uh, Camden, Goo just Camden Gober. Camden yeah, Gober, Gober has checked in the ball Gober, game yeah. for the Raiders. Back out front, Jason Brooks. And there's another one that has grown two or three inches. Camden Gober, Gober was a little bitty guy. Here's Brooks to the hole. He puts it up and in. Jason Brooks with his fourth point of the game, and we are tied 14 apiece. 5.55 to go. Second quarter. Out front, Jackson Airy, pass inside. I believe it hit the bottom of the backboard, Gary, and out of bounds into the mass of Raider cheerleaders over there. Trying to do too much again, both teams are. Yep. D. Reed back in for Jackson Airy. That's one of those things right there where you have to make the perfect pass, and it, yeah. and it, and it didn't happen. Got caught the bottom of the backboard, so turnover bears. 14 apiece. Raiders with a chance to take their first lead of the ball game. Back out front, Jason Brooks. Bears playing a tough man-on-man -man defense. Gober, three-pointer, no good. Rebound fought for, looks like uh, Daniel on the floor. Did we have a foul call? I believe so. Yep, on right. Gober. Foul on Camden Gober, that's his first. That's one of those things where there's a player on the floor with the ball and they dove on top of him <laughs> trying to get the, the jump ball, but they called a foul. Football, we call it piling on. That's right. I, uh, that's exactly That would have been a 15-yard penalty. 5.24 to go, second quarter. Bears with the basketball. Carpenter goes down the lane. And it's knocked out of bounds. Alex Hyder with that arm in there. Good job of defense by Alex that time. Looks like, looked like Trevor was around him, but uh, Alex got the hand in there, knocked it away. Here's a pass for assist, Daniel inside. Beautiful job of the inbounds pass by Botts, and Macias Daniel puts it up and in. Bears on top by two. Brooks out front with the basketball. Gives it up to Gober. Back over to Brooks. Raiders working around, and ball swatted out of bounds. <laughs> Rattles around off of a couple of Bradley cheerleaders that time. That's on Botts. Yep, Caden Botts. Is that two on him? I believe it is. <laughs> so the uh, cheerleaders, they've got to be awake tonight. Botts. Because there have been multiple balls batted into the cheerleaders. Alex Hunter to the free throw line. First shot, zip. His first point of the night. Jackson A will check back in as Kalen Bontz and his two fouls will have to set for a few minutes. Uh, number four, 
Arion Thomas will check in. Judah Salt will take a break for the Blue Raiders. Hell State second period. All right, second free throw by Hyder is good. So he knocks them both down. 16 all, 450 to play in the first half. Trevor Carpenter with the basketball. Watching for the cutter to the hole. D. Reed out front, gives it up to Daniel. Daniel gives it up to Carpenter on the weave. Carpenter down the lane, puts it up. Oh, can't get the roll as he missed the layup. Should have used the left hand that time. Didn't get it to fall. Raiders once again with a chance to, and there's the ball stolen away. The Springdale hitting in there still by the Bears. As we head toward the four minute mark, so the Raiders have had two or three opportunities to take the lead, but have yet to do so. Have they led yet? No, no, they, it's been tied. That, that's what I'm saying, they have not led. They've tried, but they, that was a good job on defense to the Bears that time. Trevor the Carpenter out front as we go into four minutes to play. Second quarter, beautiful. Oh! <laughs> Jackson A was going to dunk it, and Jason Brooks rejected it. I believe we got to go with Gold. Oh, my goodness, that was something. And here is the pass inside. Arion Thomas puts it up and in. And that is the first lead in dramatic fashion <laughs> by the Blue Raiders. 18-16, Cleveland with the lead. Carpenter over in the corner to Daniel. Daniel, oh, um, that is uh, Graham Taylor, excuse me. D. Reed out front. Bowers will reset. Reed, pull up jumper, eight footer, no good. Off of, I believe, a Blue Raider. No yep. off the Bears. Well, they looked at each other and decided it was off the Bears. So, turnover Bradley as the loose ball goes out of bounds. Everybody's alive now. The uh, cheering sections are cheering back and forth in each other. Those kids have a good time over there, Gary. Oh, yeah. yeah. 3, 308 to go, first half. 18-16, Cleveland on top, trying to add to their lead. Alex Hyder thinks about a three-pointer. Dishes inside. Thomas misses the easy one. Tip no good. Boy, the Bears dodge a bullet right there. Carpenter will bring it across the timeline. Spin move, Carpenter, reverse layup is good. And he is fouled. Count the bucket, and number three, that is Goldberg with his second foul. So that ties the game once again with 2.47 to go on the Bradley Concrete game clock as Trevor Carpenter will go to the free throw line and try to put the Bears back on top. Gober out and Leaper back in for the Raiders. Camden Gover did a good job while he was in there. Raiders don't run them in out very much, Jerry. They, they play five, six, seven, that's about it. <laughs> Free throw is good by Trevor Carpenter. And the Bears are back on top, 19-18. Here goes Leeper down the lane. Picks up his dribble. Now he's in trouble. Gives it up to Hyder. Hyder tries to drive the lane, and a blocking foul is called on Trevor Carpenter. That's not, his first. Not a whole lot of fouls called so far in a very rough and tumble game. Uh, that was a tremendous block a minute ago by Jason Brooks, but it could have very easily been called a foul. Yeah. <laughs> I think Jackson was surprised. Leaper out front with the basketball for the Raiders. Over to Thomas. Thomas trying to get it inside. Can't get it there. Judas Salt was wide open for a second. Now back out front to Brooks. They'll set it up again. Jason Brooks, he's a solid basketball player. I've enjoyed watching him play. Here's a pass inside. Salt, no good. Rebound, Jackson Eric. Jackson's come much more physical here in the late. Yes, he has. Games. Here's D. Reed down the hole. The right-handed layup is good. Beautiful drive to the bucket by D. Reed. And the Bears go back out by three, 21-18, as we go into two minutes to play first half. Gabe Leeper in the lane, pull up jumper, no good. Rebound, Macias Daniel. Bears on the run. Carpenter, gonna drive the lane. Get it out. Oh, traveling violation. Whew, that's a tough call right there. I didn't think he had it long enough to travel. <laughs> but he did, says Mr. Referee. 
142 to go first half. Turnover Bears. I thought he stepped out of bounds is what I thought. Nevertheless, Raiders with the basketball down by three. Another low scoring defensive battle, much like the girls' game. Just was. almost exactly like the girls' score has gone. And here's a foul call, got a hand check way out here. Macias. Yep, that's the first one on Macias Daniel. Uh, after all the, the whacking we've had inside, and then they call a hand check out here. But that's the rule. Gabe Bleeper out front for the Raiders with the basketball. Takes it toward the hole. He's cut off at the basket. Pass inside to Salt. Batted out of bounds by Daniel. Macias Daniel has come off the bare bench. Played outstanding defense here in the first half. 118 on the clock. Out front, Thomas to Leeper. Leeper takes it low. Driving layup is good. That was a nice move by Gabe Leeper that time. That's five points for Gabe. And once again, it's a one point by a lead, 21 20. Carpenter brings it across the timeline, gives it up to Ari. Ari thought about a three, changed his mind. Carpenter will let fly. It's good. Trevor Carpenter from three point land. That was huge, Gary. 24 20. That's his second kill of Cleveland three pointer of the night. Big shot, puts the Bears on top by four, 24-20 as we're under a minute to play. Leaper from three-point land, no good. Rebound to Brooks for the Raiders. He puts one off the glass, no good. Rebound tipped by several players. Uh, Hyder comes out of the pack with the basketball. Oh, Alex Hyder drives the lane, puts it up the left hand, it's short. Jackson A with the rebound. 17 seconds to go in the first half and the Bears will hold it for the last shot. Boy, that was fast and furious right there. He's, they're playing street ball out there, basically, is what it looks like. Oh, everybody crashing the boards. It was it was good basketball right there. 24-20, Carpenter over to, that, to Ram Taylor. Three-pointer up the buzzer. No good. And that is the way the first half ends. Bears on top of the Raiders, 24-20. Uh, we're going to the end of our quarter sponsor, Interventional Pain Consultants. Thanks so much for Dr. Josh Hare and all the folks over there at the Interventional Pain Consultants for their sponsorship. We're going to take a, a wholesale supply group timeout. We'll be back in two minutes, two-minute break. We'll be right back.
Bradley Central, we have uh, we're at halftime of the boys game on Mix 104-1. Bears up 24 to 20 of the Cleveland Raiders. Earlier tonight, we had the Bears win 60 to 31. The final over Cleveland High School being joined now by Bradley Barrett head coach Jason Ruder. Jason, st slow start tonight, and then boy, the defense went on a tear. I think it's a 24 to nothing run you had going on there. Uh, uh, 20 to nothing run there, and it pulled away and basically put the game out of reach for the Lady Raiders there in the second quarter. Yeah, I, yeah it was a little frustrating. Uh, you know, Bradley Cleveland games are they're, they're going to be grinders. This is very unusual. It's been a while since we've had this kind of a margin. I've been in games where we've won by 50, but I've been in games where we've won by six. Uh, it, it was a grinder for a while. Um, and it, it just seemed like in that second quarter, we, we put the clamps on them, and it's almost like the fatigue set in. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't coach their team. I coach my team. Yeah. Uh, fatigue set in, and we uh, went at halftime up. 19 points. I couldn't ask for any more, even though we had too many turnovers. We had nine. Mm -hmm. We had turnovers. We had three in a row by three different players. You got to be careful what you criticize. If you were here at the game or you watched it on on live stream, they were all on selfish turnovers trying to pass ahead. Uh -huh. But uh, we had three in a row, and I'm like, guys, this ain't championship basketball. But uh, I'm very proud of my girls. Look, you beat your Crosstown rival by 29. Uh, they're they're. Cleveland's better than that, but I think we're better than we played. So uh, this is round two. We know there's a high, high probability. I just about bet my paycheck against a bottle of water. We're going to play him the third time. <clears throat> That's no disrespect. McMahon's injured, and uh, we saw the Walker Valley score. And, and uh, so, you know, I think the balance scoring, you know, like the Walker Valley scoring, you saw it was a three-headed monster. And tonight, you know, you had – Four girls in double digits. Right. Uh, they had no answer uh, for Kamora. They doubled her uh, early, and they doubled her over there. But, uh, you know, obviously we've been working on some things. You know, they may not be showing all their cards. And I certainly didn't show all my cards. I didn't have to. So I think you'll see a heady, heavy dose of doubling on Kamora when we play them again. She kind of had her way. We could have went to her more. Uh, she's 7 to 10. Let us in points, 16. Let us in rebounds with 8. Let us in steals with six, tied for lead in blocks. Uh, only complaint I had, she had, you know, a couple too many turnovers. But uh, Avery hit some timely threes. You know, Avery's got her touch back again. She, if she gets that foot and playing in the ground and turns and spins and dies the rim, boom, I'll put my money on her. So uh, defense, 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 defense. That's what the difference was. We didn't score a tremendous amount of points, 60. We only took 40 shots. I think we're averaging in the 50s, uh, you know, but – uh, great crowd. I think our kids, they just, they show their toughness. And, uh, you know, I'm just not going to celebrate too much because this was, we did what we were supposed to do, and we haven't uh, won a district tournament yet. And it's going to be over there. Well, your, your defense tonight gave you up 31 points, and I think that's almost exactly what you're averaging through the first 18 games, the so 19 games now. You up 31 points tonight, uh, including shutting them out in the second quarter, which I cannot remember that happening so it's pretty rare, yeah. I, 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 you know, I don't know fatigue. You know, they played Saturday, we didn't, but you got Sunday, you got Monday. Uh, I'm somehow trying to justify my mind. Uh, you know, I don't know why the fatigue. As a matter of fact, sometimes you're better off playing a game, but they had two days to rest or get ready, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I just chalk it up. We're playing in Jim Smitty, and our girls really wanted it, and our defense shut them down. Let's talk about Brooke real quick while we can. Yeah. One of the great Barretts of all time. Still, and I think the ninth leading scorer in uh, yeah. Barrett history. A tremendous yeah. record here. We were, I forget, 117, 100 something, and seven, 114 and 17. Yeah. Four district championships, four regions, a numerous, yeah, numerous uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas tournaments. Uh, two trips to the state. Two trips to the state. Uh, could easily had a little luck. Of course, I remember. You know, the play that still stands out is against Oakland. When I guaranteed if they get us to the Substated home. I, yeah. I did a Joe Namath like a big dummy, and you put it on the front page. <laughs> Joe, and Joe set me up, and uh, she got the rebound and threw it up, drove it the length of court, threw it to Rebecca, and she shot about a 10, 9 foot, 10 foot bank shot. Y'all remember that? The beat Oakland, and I said, You saved my rear end. And, uh, <laughs> you know, Brooke never took a game off. She played hard. Yeah. Uh, gosh, what a tremendous athlete. You remember how she, she was twice Chattanooga Times female athlete of the year. That don't happen much, guys. Great That's out of 90 there. schools yeah. are covering. Yeah. And uh, 
just and she went on and, and graduated in three years, played Florida. Uh, I'll cherish those memories forever. You know, it's probably a little special because your own daughter, they were nicknamed the Twin Towers, and of course they went off their own ways. You know, my daughter went to Middle Tennessee, and she went there. And But, uh, boy, I mean, what a – it was a great time. And uh, uh, and they both you know, started your first year as a head coach. Yeah, uh, she didn't. Uh, she did. I've only had – I mean, they, they were on the team. Yes. On the same team. I've only had three freshmen start. Yeah. In my 13 years from day one, and that was Brooke Copeland. And then a few years later, come a girl uh, you may have heard of her, Ryan Howard. I think I know her. Now you got one named Kamora Fields. Yep. So uh, that's getting in pretty high cotton right there. You're talking about high caliber players, and uh, boy, Brooke Copeland, she she was class president. She was just a well, everybody liked her, and. Uh, there's times she wanted to get her hands around my neck and choke me, Joe and Gary, but <laughs> deep down, I know she she played hard for me. Yeah. Y'all remember those days. Yeah. And uh, what a great tribute to her. That's an exclusive group. I know there's some numbers been duplicated. Hers and Ryan was. You know, we were going to retire her COVID year. I explained all that to you. Yep. COVID hit. There was no sense doing it. And then she got pregnant. And if we, just, we got them out of order a little bit, but guess what? She... She is uh, definitely a Hall of Famer, and uh, absolutely, uh, I'm proud to see her back here along with her NBA husband and her family. And uh, what a special night! Uh, we didn't mention uh, we may have, you know, Grace Phillips. I'll say a prayer for her. It don't look good. Now, it could be a hamstring. It's black and blue. It could be more. You know, hamstrings are pretty serious. Yeah. You hear? You, know, you remember those football guys tearing the hamstrings? They're it's it's months. So I don't know. I don't want to just say a prayer for her and. That's how fragile it is. We're not super deep over here. We're experienced. She's the only junior in her program. Yeah. And that's, a, that's boy, I'd have, I'd have traded a few points for that. I'll have that injury. Let's get off here, guys. Okay, Coach. Well, thanks. Congratulations. Appreciate it. And we will see you Friday see you. night down Howard again. I'll see you at school tomorrow. All right. That's Coach Jason Reuter, head coach of Victorious Barrett. Tonight he won their 120th consecutive district game, their 19th straight game this season, 19-0. Their 18th game in a row over Cleveland High School. And the list just goes on and on. Let's take a quick one minute timeout. We'll be back with more live coach. Your old mix 104.1. We're at halftime. The Bears lead Cleveland 24 to 20. Our score 24 20. Back in one minute. Right, we are back at the gym, Jim's Media Arena. Bears and Raiders already underway here in the second. Here's a pass inside. Trevor Carpenter puts it up and in as Alex Hyder got an offensive rebound for the Raiders. And it is 26-22 as each team has a bucket here in the third quarter. Judah Salt, pull-up jumper, no good. Rebound goes to Jackson Airy. We appreciate Coach Jason Reuters stopping by and talking with us on the Southland Finance Halftime Show. Coach Reuter, always an entertaining interview. We appreciate him a whole lot. D. Reed, over to Caden. Caden Botts. Harry, back out front to Reed. As the Bears work the weave, try to work it inside as the Blue Raiders with the stingy. Here's a steal by Salt, he puts it up with the left hand and up and in. So Judah Salt go, takes it the other direction. And it's 26-24, just getting underway here in the third quarter. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast tonight. We've had a couple of really good ball games and uh, JV games before that. Jackson Airy inside backing down to Arion Thomas. Shot is good. Boy, that was a nice job. Gary backed him down and put it up and in. Back out front. Raiders on the run. 
28-24 Bears with a four point lead. Raiders with a basketball. Jason Brooks, Ram Taylor on him. Gives it up to Leeper. Leeper over in the corner. Thomas thought about a three inside. Beautiful pass to Salt, but he couldn't hit the four footer. Bears got a break right there. 5.32 to go, third quarter. Trevor Carpenter out front. He'll set up the offense, takes it to the lane. Gets double team, back out front. Caden Botts, three pointer, no good. Jason Brooks with a rebound. Raiders on the run. Leaper takes it in the paint. Don't pull it back out. And ball swatted away by Botts. Good defense right there. Almost had a steal and gone the other direction. Still one of those low scoring defensive battles here. 26, 28-24. 20, uh, we got five minutes in the third quarter. That's, that's a good first quarter for a lot of teams. Oh, sometimes. And, and usually for these two teams it yeah. is. It, that's exactly right. But they played so hard on the defensive end that buckets are hard to come by tonight. Here's the ball swatted away. Raiders pick it up. Jason Brooks gives it up to Thomas. Thomas picks up his dribble. Alex Hodder, three-pointer, no good. Long rebound goes to Caden Botts. He had Carpenter, but couldn't get it to him. Now he gets it to Carpenter. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Brooks. Raiders on the run. Two-on-two two fast break. Brooks has it knocked away. D. Reed picks up the loose ball. Reed to the hole. Puts it up and in. D. Reed with the left-handed layup, and the Bears extend their lead to six points, 30-24, as we're almost halfway through the third quarter, 4-24. Here goes Salt to the hole. Couldn't get it to fall, but he is fouled. Probably Jackson Airy. We'll wait on Mr. Referee. No, it's on Ram Taylor. Ram, it's two. Ram Taylor with the foul, and that will send Judah Salt to the free throw line. The Cleveland Utilities free throw line. Zip on the first free throw for Judah. I've got him with uh, five points in the ball game. 4.17 to go on the Bradley Concrete game clock. <coughs> Second free throw, Zip. He knocks them both down. That's four for four from the free throw line for Salt. And that cuts it to a four-point Bradley lead. 30-26, Bears with the basketball. Bears in the white uniform with black and gold trim. Cleveland in there, red, white, and blue, blue uniforms with red and white trim. Here's the ball over to Joe. He's open. Uh-oh, lost his pin. It was the pin of the basketball, Joe. Hey, you made the right decision. <laughs> yeah, as Mr. Referee cleans up the pen and gives it back. Nothing like a reporter without a pen. He's just in. It, it, in oh, yeah. A good reporter always has two or three. That's for sure. Raiders with a basketball. After the bear turnover, here's a pass inside. Got to be a travel. As they didn't call it, as Salt fell in the lane. As uh, the, the, it's just a timeout. So Coach Reggie Tucker calls a timeout, 30 second timeout. We'll take one with them. We'll be right back after 30 seconds. Right here on Mount Mix 1041, Brian Grissom, Gary Ormby, live from the gym, Jim Smitty Arena on the campus of Bradley Central High School. It's been Bears and Raiders all night long. Bears took care of business in the ladies' contest. Bears trying to do the same, but it's anybody's ball game halfway through the third quarter. Here's a pass inside, knocked away for a moment, but the Raiders get it back. Leaper, spin move, gets the roll, puts it up and in. Beautiful job by Alex, by Gabe Leaper that time. And it's a two-point game, 30-28. Bears with a basketball and a two-point lead as we hit 
towards the three minute mark here in the third quarter. Ball Ooh. off the knee of Trevor Carpenter, but he runs it down, runs it down about a half a click before the half court line. Bears taking their time this time, trying to get a good shot off. Carpenter will back it out again. As we're under three minutes to play, here goes Carpenter. Spin move, gives it back to Botts. Botts takes it in the lane. Got to get rid of it. Here's Taylor to D. Reed. D. Reed misses it, gets his own rebound, and puts it up and in. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Then D. Reed put it back up and in. Timeout on the floor. Bears going to think about it. And we'll just take a 30-second timeout, Keely, and we'll do some live reads. Four point one like remind you about our great friends at Village Volkswagen. Locally owned and a proud sponsor of local sports. Take a test drive the award-winning locally made VW Atlas. VillageVW.com is their website. And also our good friends at Voitech Center for Orthopedic Care. No matter if it's a sports injury, a work injury, or just an accident at home, Voitech Center has you covered. That's Voitech.com. V-O-Y-T-I-K, the Voitech Center for Orthopedic Care. And also our good friends at Dale's Heating and Air. For all your heating and air needs, just call Dale's, and that is his website, justcalldales.com. 32-28, Bears on top. Here's a foul in backcourt by Arion Thomas, and a great defensive effort by D. Reed to draw that foul. That was nice, Gary. It really was, and that's the turnover, as they call it in the stat column. Very few fouls called in the ball game. That's just the fourth foul on Cleveland and two, four, six fouls called on Bradley. And one and each here yeah. late in the third. Yeah, we're late in the third quarter. That's that's pretty amazing. Ram Taylor from three-point land. In and out. Airy with the rebound. Rejected. D. Reed with the rebound. He takes it to the hole. Puts it up. Rejected again. That time by Arion Thomas. So two blocks by the Raiders in the lane. Three-point shot, good, Alex Hyder from downtown. And just like that, the Raiders are back on top. No, nope. no, nope, nope. 30, that just cuts it to a, I'm a little behind here. 33, 32-31 is score. 32-31, Bears on top by a point with the basketball. Caden Botts out front, trying to get it inside to Ari. Had him for a second, and, and then it, it closed. The window closed. Carpenter to the hole. Throws up a shot. It's good. Are they going to count the bucket? I don't think so. No. No, no they're not going to count it. I, I, was I was looking for the continuation there, Gary, but it didn't happen. That fouls on Gabe Leeper, his first team second. So nobody in any kind of foul trouble. Camden Gober with two fouls for... Cleveland and Ram Taylor and Caden Botts with two fouls for the Bears. And Gober just checked in. Camden Gober and his two fouls check into the ball game for Cleveland. Bears throw it into Airy. Airy drives the lane. Can't get there. Back out front to Box in the corner. Botts splits the double team, puts it off the glass and in. Caden Botts with a tremendous move to the hole. He would not be denied that time. That guy's a player, I'm telling you. My goodness. That was a nice move. 34-31, Bears on top of the Raiders. Raiders with the basketball. Jason Brooks out front. Gives it up to Hyder. Three-point land off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound Jackson Airy. Bears on the run. Ram Taylor will pull it up. He didn't have the numbers. Cross-court pass to Daniel. Swatted away. Ball on the floor. Raiders will pick it up. Camden Gover on the run. And Coach Tucker wanted to time out. He thought he was in trouble. <laughs> and he, he, the look on his face says, boy, I'd like to have that back. <laughs> timeout on the floor. Raiders call timeout. We'll take one with them. 59 seconds to go. Third quarter, Bears on top by three. We'll be back in one minute.
It's been everything it's been building then some. Bears and Raiders, Bears on top 34-31 with just less than a minute to play third quarter. Here's a pass inside, Jason Brooks. Oh, beautiful pass on the baseline to Arion Thomas. I don't know how in the world he got it over there, but he did. The basket was good, and the foul was on. Jackson Airy. Jackson Airy picks up the foul. That's his so first. Opportunity to tie this ball game with a three-point play. First foul on Jackson. We'll send Arion Thomas to the free throw line. Free throw is good, and we are tied once again. Leaper back in for uh, Thomas there. Looks like uh, Leaper, Brooks, Salt, Hyder, and Gober on the floor for the Raiders. Daniel, Carpenter, Macias, Ari, and Botch for the Bears. Over to Macias Daniel, trying to get it inside, couldn't do it, but pass inside to Carpenter. Carpenter up and in. So the Bears identified the mismatch right there, and Trevor Carpenter put it up and in. He finds a way to get open inside somehow. I don't know not, how. Not a big guy, six foot maybe or so. Bears on top by two, 20 seconds to go, third quarter. Looks like the Raiders are gonna hold it for the last shot. And folks, I'll tell you, this one's gonna go down to the last second. Three-pointer, Leaper is good. Raiders on top by a point. Four seconds, three seconds, Trevor Carpenter to the hole. Off the glass, can't get the roll. Rolled around and fell out, and that is how the third quarter will end. Raiders on top of the Bears, 37-36, sponsored by Wholesale Supply Group and Interventional Pain Consultants. Folks, don't go away. It's going to be an amazing fourth quarter. We'll be back in one minute. Ready to get underway from the gym, Jim Smitty Arena. Brian Grissom, Gary Orme, thank you so much for joining in the broadcast tonight. We've had an outstanding couple of ball games. The boys game is going to go right down to the wire, folks. I can just feel it coming. Raiders on top, 37-36 as we start playing here in the fourth quarter. Trevor Carpenter with the basketball for the Bears. Oh, what a pass. D. Reed inside puts it up and in. Trevor Carpenter, I don't know how in the world he got that back to him. I, I don't know if that's a call play or if that was just something that happened. And it looked like a, a play. Leaper fast as lightning down the lane. He is tripped, and I don't think they called a foul. No. Out of, out of bounds. That's just incidental. Boy, he was, a, he was in fourth <laughs> gear, and boy, did he hit the floor hard. So Camden Gober will take a break, and... Jackson Airy will check in and Salt Daniel will check, check back out. in for the Blue Raiders. So they've got their starting five on. Jackson Airy checks back in for the Bears. Now they're trying. You can't uh -oh. do that. You can't do that. I sent That's the wrong illegal. guy. Huh? You, you can't do that. You can't do that. He checked out and uh, can't back in for the clock start. He cannot do that. Pandemonium reigns. Hey, we're quick to spot that. As now we're going to figure figure these things out. I think the wrong guy came out and they didn't figure it out till he got to the bench. They can call timeout and change him back in. Right. But they can't do it without. But not after he's got over and sat down. Yeah. yeah. All right. So order is restored. 7:36 to go in the ball game on the Bradley Concrete scoreboard. Jason Brooks out front with the basketball for the Raiders. They are clinging. No, they trail by a point. 38-37. Leaper. Loses the ball. D. Reed with the steal. Reed takes it to the hole. He puts it up and in. D. 
Reed with his 10th point of the ball game, and Gary, that was a huge Springdale hitting an air steal. Just stripped him clean, and he had an easy run to the basket then. Took it the other way. Here's a foul called on Trevor Carpenter. <laughs> Much to the dismay of the Bear fans, it's getting down to that, that time of ball game, Gary, where we're going to hear it from both ends. Tension is really, really building now with a <laughs> three-point game, seven minutes in the game. But in the foul territory, two on Cleveland, three on the Bears. Yeah, nobody really, really in trouble at all, and uh, that's the way we like it. Out front, Salt gives it up to Thomas. Thomas over in the corner to Salt. Thought about a three, changed his mind, gives it back up to Thomas. Thomas drives the lane. Oh. Blocking foul. Oh. Blocking oh. foul. That one could have went either way. And just when we say that, three fouls on Caden Botts. So I don't think they're going to shoot. No, I wouldn't think so. Bad call there, just totally bad call. That was that was a tough one. It could have went either way, and they uh, they called the block. Yeah, he's going to shoot. Yeah, sure is. Yeah, I thought he was going to, but they weren't lining up. The the perspiration patrol is taking care of things. Right, I tell you something. Between Bradley, Cleveland, McMinn County, and Walker Valley boys games, Lord, a mercy when hit the district trail. By the way, update from Walker Valley is McMinn up 49 to 38 over Walker Valley, and they're in the fourth quarter play there as well. On that, that, up, game. that update on our Mountain View Nissan scoreboard? Yep. We're rolling, Gary. <laughs> I don't know where to, but we're rolling. But, but, but we're rolling. That's all that matters. First free throw is no good off the front of the rim by Arion Thomas. He'll get another. And I, by my stats, that's the first free throw that they have missed tonight. They've made six, and we've made two. That tells you we're not shooting many free throws. Not many at all. Bears are just one out of two from the free throw line, and we're in the fourth quarter. Second free throw, Thomas, zip. One out of two for Arion Thomas, and that will make it a two-point bear lead, 40-38, as we are under seven minutes to play in the contest. Trevor Carpenter will bring it across the timeline slowly as he directs traffic. Jackson Airy sets the screen. Carpenter picks up his dribble, back to Airy. Now over Caden Botts to Ram Taylor. Taylor in the in the paint. D Reed to the hole. Scoop shot. Wanted to foul. No call. There was contact. As Salt throws it away, and Carpenter going for the loose ball will pick up the foul. That's his third. And just like that, Caden Botts and Trevor Carpenter have three fouls apiece as we still got over six minutes to play in the ball game. That was a, a, a loose ball, a, a bad pass, and Trevor dove for it, but he went right into the Cleveland player and, and got called for the personal. As the perspiration patrol takes care of things over there on the other side, Judas Salt to throw it in. Gets it over in the corner to Hyder. Back out front to Salt. Raiders being patient, working it around, trying to get the, but they're trying to work it down into the paint, but the Bears are, are not letting them to this point. Oh, here's a hand check called out front at the half court line, and that is on Ram Taylor. And just like that, that's three fouls on Ram Taylor. And a technical on the coach. Coach Jack, coach Jack Carpenter has just been hit with a technical foul. So the first technical free throw, Alex Hyder is good. He's three out of three from the free throw line. And I think a 17 fouls. It says six on the scoreboard, but I believe the count had one for the six on the player foul, and then one for the team. I believe it should be seven, but second. that's scores were there. Second technical foul will tie it up. We're tied 40 apiece as Coach Zach Carpenter will have to sit the rest of the ball game. And it'll be Cleveland basketball after Hyder knocks down both free throws. So that was a quick one as Coach Zach picks up the tee. Six minutes, less than six minutes to play on the Bradley concrete scoreboard clock. 
Ball batted out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland basketball. Momentum has shifted just a little bit, Gary. Yeah, it has, and uh, it's going to come down probably to who can make free throws. You're going to win it by making free throws or lose it by missing free throws. By missing them. That's, that's where we're headed, that's for sure. Somebody's going to step up and hit the big shot somewhere along the line. And Cleveland's now in the bonus of Bradley Falson. Here's the ball knocked away. Raiders pick up the loose ball. Jason Brooks inside. Thomas is good. So a four-point trip for the Raiders, and they lead 42-40. Arion Thomas, the beneficiary of a great pass right there. I've got him for eight, 11, 13 points in the ball game. Bears with the basketball. Ari. Out front to Botts. Botts takes off down the lane, throws up a teardrop, and it's answered. And it's 10 points in the game for Caden Botts, and we are tied once again. 5-12 to go in the contest. Bears and Raiders, we're tied, 42 apiece. Jason Brooks out front, over in the on the wing. Leaper takes it to the hole, puts it up and in. Gabe Leaper. Uh, let's see, that's 10, uh, 9, 11 points for Leaper. 12 points for Gabe Leaper as the Raiders leap back on top, 44-42. Carpenter with the basketball, gives it up to Botts. Botts looking for some help. He's going to back it back out as the Bears slow it up just a hair to set up the play. Back up top to D. Reed to Botts. Bots directing traffic as we head toward the four minute mark, almost the halfway mark of the third of the fourth quarter. It's getting to crunch time inside Jackson Airy. Back out front, Bots. Three point land is good. Huge shot, Caden Bots. And the Bears seesaw back in front, 45-44. There's one of those big shots I was talking about, Gary. Yep. Whoever hits the big shots and their free throws down the stretch is going to win this ball game. We are past the four-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Bears on top by point, Raiders with the basketball. Judah sawed out front, thought about a three, changed his mind, gives it up to Brooks. Brooks to Hyder. He's going to throw one up. No good. Rebound, D. Reed. Ball fought for and leaper will be called for the foul. I've got him for two, Gary. Is that what you've got? Yep, and I believe the team now has three, so they've got several to give. Oh, for, a long way. Right at the bonus line. Gabe Leeper with the foul. Bears with a basketball. And a one-point lead. Trevor Carpenter will set it up for the Bears. He's double-teamed. Gives it up to Reed. Reed to Botts. Botts. He's double team, gets it inside. Jackson Airy gets the handle on it. Turn around jumper off the wall is good. Off the glass for Jackson wow. Airy. That was a nice turnaround, kind of a hook shot. Jackson Airy bears by three. Here's the ball kicked out of bounds. And I believe Cleveland will kick the will keep the basketball. Yeah. Jackson I could, Airy kicked it accidentally. I couldn't tell who it went off of. So that was a good call. Bears with a three-point lead, 3-11 to go on the Bradley Concrete game clock. Backcourt Raiders, Leaper with the ball. He'll set up the play. D. Reed all over him. Alex Hyder out front. Oh, what a pass inside to Arion Thomas. Misses the layup. Jackson A with the rebound. We're under three minutes to play in the game. Taylor to Botts. Botts thought about taking it in the lane. Now he's going to the lane. Pass out front, Ram Taylor, three-point land, no good. Rebound fought for, back to D. Reed. The Raiders save it, Reed puts it up and in. Wow, 12. it's fast and furious out here. 12 points for D. Reed as he gets the rebound and puts it back in. A five-point bear lead, two and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Jason Brooks over to Leaper, and D. Reed is gonna be called for the block. Leaper got him on his hip, and the foul is on D. Reed. I've, I've got him for, that's his first, yep. yeah. So three fouls on Botts and Carpenter and Rem Taylor for the Bears, and no Raiders with three fouls, uh, Gober and Leaper with two fouls. 
so Gabe Leeper will go to the free throw line. Everything's huge from here on out, Gary. Yeah, it's coming down to free throws right now, and we're not in a bonus if they foul us. Leeper, an outstanding free throw shooter, knocks the first one down. He's had an outstanding ball game. Let's see, six, and six is 12. 13 points for Gabe Leeper from the Cleveland Utilities free throw line. Second free throw. Zip. He knocks them both down, and the Raiders draw a little closer. Bears with a three-point lead in the basketball. A little full-court pressure, a little zone, zone trap here by the Raiders, and now they'll back it off as the Bears get it inbounds. Bears, We're headed, will, Bears will be calling timeout here in a minute. Headed toward the two-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. It's anybody's ball game. Bears up by three at the moment. I think their largest lead was five points, maybe six. Jackson Ari, spin move. And the foul is going to be called before the shot on number five, Judah Salt. That's two on Judah. Four on the team. So the Bears will take it out underneath their own bucket. Caden Botts to throw it in. Gets it into Carpenter. <laughs> that was close at the, free, at the half court line. Jackson area inside. Foul is called, I believe, on Judah Salt. Yep. We'll see. Yep. So Salt picks up his third foul. Team fifth. And they're shooting these two. And that was on the shot. So the Bears, Jackson Airy, once again, Gary, took it strong to the hole. Exactly two minutes remaining in the game. And man, it's been Every close, nip and tuck. Bradley was up 10 to two. They had an eight point lead early yes, on. Yes, you're exactly right. That was the biggest lead of the game. But it's been two and three back and forth, tied a half a dozen times or more, and ra the Raiders have led a couple of different times for a short period of time. But the first free throw by Jackson Airy is good. 50 to 46, Bears by four. Make that five as the ball hits all sides of the rim and drops in. So a 51-46 advantage. We're less than two minutes to go in the ball game. Alex Hunter down the baseline. Gets away with a travel. Back out front, Jason Brooks. Raiders will set up the offense. If you're a Cleveland fan, they need a bucket in the worst way. Here's a turnover. Bears on the run. Three on one fast break. Ram Taylor. Oh, my goodness. Judah Salt gets up and blocks it. That was nice. I was just looking at my score sheet. The Bears have shut down Jason Brooks. He's got four points tonight. And he's usually their main man. Yeah. That's exactly right. And, and he has passed all night long. That was a tremendous job by Judah Salt on the, he was on a 3-1 yeah. fast break and he got up and blocked it out of bounds. He can flat, get up there. Bear basketball, inbounds around Taylor. It is slapped away. Uh-oh, they call an offensive foul. Oh, Ram Taylor on the offensive foul. And that's four on Ram. I thought Bradley would call time here because been I can hear him talking about times. Well, they're, they're leading, so they're just going to go with the flow. I guess so. What well, minute and a half to play in the ball game. 51-46, Bears up by five. Raiders with the basketball. Camden Gober, three-point land, in and out. Rebound, Ram Taylor loses it for just a second as Jason Brooks knocked it away, but Taylor gets it back. As we head toward one minute to play in the game, Caden Botts, ill-advised shot oh, from three-point land. Jason Brooks pulls up, three-pointer, good. Just exactly what the Raiders needed, and they call a timeout. Oh, that was huge. That was a big swing right there, Gary. It's a 30. 30-second timeout. We'll just keep it here, Gary. We 51-49, uh, Bears lead by two. I tell you what. One minute and five seconds to play in the ball game. It's a full timeout. They've changed it. It is a full timeout. Did time they just out. change it? Yeah. All can. right. Well, we'll take a break then. We'll take a break, Keeley. Uh, uh, sponsored by a Wholesale Supply Group. We'll be back in one minute. School basketball right here on Mix 104.1, the Bear Network and My Mix TV. And folks, it's been a dandy. The, if, you, if you're sitting in the gym listening to the radio, you've got your money's worth tonight. 51-49, Bears on top with the basketball. 
Raiders apply a little full court pressure. We're under a minute to play in the game. Here's a trap over to D. Reed. And perspiration timeout. Uh oh, perspiration on the floor. They can see a spot of yeah. sweat a bit, 100 feet away. They can't see a foul <laughs> 10 feet away. <laughs> and I'll shut up. I'm just going to let that one ride <laughs> right along, Gary. I'll shut up. <laughs> so, perspiration police take care of things. We have 56.1 seconds to play as the perspiration <laughs> in, in front of the bare bench is cleaned up. We, we have a really good time watching all the activity going along here on Press Row. And we have had it tonight. And it's been fun, I'll tell you. Caden Moss, you call it in right here in front of our broadcast position. Gets it into Trevor. 50 seconds to play in the game. Over to Botts. He'll just hold on to it for a minute. As the Bears will just try to run precious seconds off the clock. The Raiders not inclined to foul at the moment. Caden Boss to the hole, throws it away. Jason Brooks with the steal. Here come the Raiders with a chance to take the lead or to tie it. Gabe Leeper out front, spin move to the hole. Leeper puts it up and in, we're tied. Gabe Leeper to the hole, 20 seconds to go. 51 apiece, we're tied. Bears are gonna take a timeout. That's it, 15.9 seconds to go. We are tied, 51 apiece. We're gonna take a 30 second timeout, Keeley. 30 second timeout, we'll be right back. Gary, it couldn't get any closer than this. 51 apiece. A Bears had a five point lead and it is gone. 51 apiece. 15.9 seconds to play in the ball game. Some timely turnovers have hurt the Bears here late in the game. Big time players step up in crunch time. Jason Brooks stepped in the passing lane, picked it off, and Gabe Bleeper put a great move in the lane, put it up and in for the Raiders, and that's where we are. We're tied 51 apiece. Bears with the basketball, 15.9 seconds to play. They'll take, they'll throw it in right in front of their own bench right here at our broadcast position. Caden Botts, Alex Hyder in front of him, into Jackson Airy, almost knocked away from Airy. Out front to Carpenter, 10 seconds to play. Carpenter, seven seconds to play. Trevor Carpenter to the hole, loses the ball. Three seconds, two seconds, Brooks to the hole. Can't hit it, we're going to overtime. Woo! Jason Brooks had about a second left, Gary, as he let go of it, it bounced around and come off. And the Bears with another, that's like four straight turnovers for the Bears there. Absolutely. Saw so that lead go away, so we're gonna have a four minute overtime. Let's take a one minute timeout here and be back in one minute with the first of maybe the only overtime tonight with a game time to pick so. off. <laughs> Back in 60 seconds.
was not nearly enough to decide a winner in this ball game. We are tied 51 apiece as the perspiration police are still working on the floor. It has been an outstanding, just another in the long chapter of Bradley Cleveland basketball. It sure has, and if you complain about the cost to get in here tonight, <laughs> you're just, I don't know what because you've got hey, your money's God. worth and then some. And now we've got free basketball. Here we go once again with the Chattanooga Alls Auto Square tip-off, and this time it goes to the Raiders. Leaper with the basketball, four minutes in overtime. Here's a drive to the hole. Shot is blocked, and they call a jump ball. To the Bears. As the Bears came up with it, but a uh, beautiful block at the hole right there as Alex Hyder took it to the hole and was rejected. So on the alternate possession, it'll be Bradley basketball. Raiders with a little full court pressure and a trap. They, they break it easily. Ram Taylor gets it across the timeline. Over to Botts in the corner. Four minutes in overtime. Jackson Airy. Well, he walked. As he loses the handle and is called for travel. Yet another turnover. Bears are going to have to get their composure if they're going to win this one. We're still tied as we head toward three and a half minutes to play in the four minute overtime. Leaper to the hole, throws it away. Trevor Carpenter stepped in the passing lane that time. Turnover Raiders. Coach Reggie Tucker bites a piece out of his towel and walks the other direction. Out front, Jackson Airy gives it up to D. Reed. Reed to Taylor. Taylor thought about a three, changed his mind. Back to Jackson Airy to Reed. Every fan on their edge of their seat. Reed, shot, no good. Rebound, Airy. Left handed hook is good. Jackson Airy on the offensive board. Oh, that was big, Gary. It was. He came over the top of the guy, just reached over him, grabbed the loose ball, and put it back up and in. Put it back up with the left hand. Bears on top, 53 51. Bears have led for most of the game until the end of the fourth quarter when it was 51 apiece. Here's a three pointer, no good. Rebound, Bears. Ill advised shot with the right. It back. was. It was an ill advised shot, didn't have anybody underneath, and it was a. Missed three-pointer by the Raiders. Bears with the basketball. Botts cross-court pass to Taylor. Taylor, three-point land. No good. Off front of the rim. Rebound Camden Gover. Not a smart shot by the Bears. Ba both teams with a tough three-pointer. Gover out front. Gives it up to Salt. Judah Salt to Gover. Gover thought about a three. Drives baseline. Pass to Brooks. Misses the easy one. Gets his own rebound and puts it up and in. Jason Brooks with nine points in the game. And we've got a timeout. Raiders, two minutes exactly to go in the over first overtime period. We're tied, 53 apiece. Timeout on the floor, we'll take one with them. Sponsored by Wholesale Supply Group. Keeley will be back in one minute. Strategy on both sides, Bears and Raiders, 53 apiece. Thank you so much for joining in the broadcast this afternoon or tonight. He started this afternoon. Uh, Bears won. Barrettes won the JV games. Barrettes took the ladies' varsity game in a big way. Bears and Raiders in overtime. Here's a pass inside. Jackson Airy puts it up and in, and the Bears are back on top, 55-53 with one minute and 40 seconds to play in the first overtime period. Gabe Leeper out front for the Raiders. Bears Gabe looking around. to stop here after got that two-point lead back. Big up. Here's Hyder from the corner. Three-point. No good. Rebound, Caden Botts. 
Big shot if that went in right there, Gary. I thought it was going to. Had a good look at it. Two point lead, Bears with the basketball in the lead. Over to Jackson Airy. Airy looks inside, can't get it there. Bots out front. Here goes Boss down the lane, puts it up and in. Caden Bots with 15 points in the ball game. The Bears call a timeout, 30 second timeout. Let's just keep it right here, Gary. Yes. 30, Maybe. 30 second timeout here. I'd like to remind our friends about Dale's Heat and Air this time of year. You need some warm air it's for your heating and air needs. Just call Dale's at justcalldales.com. Also, like reminding about Chick-fil-A. Pick up your tailgating food at Chick-fil-A. Order your trays today for the big game or bumming around the house or whatever. Football. Well, have some right now. Football man. playoffs. That's right. Big bucket by the Bears there on that last one. And Let's I tell you what, Gary, you know, back in, the, back in the old days, it used to be 100 degrees in the in the gym. It's it's hot in here tonight because it's we were nearly full, but uh, it's not nearly as hot as it used to be. I remember sweat rolling down my head oh, back yeah. in the day. We've seen some great games. This is one of those. I I, I wish I had my records right in front of me. To see the last time we played overtime because I remember a bunch of them. We uh, played several uh, back. That was a lot of years ago. I don't remember the last one, but this one right here is going to be go down in one of the classics. Raider basketball, they trail by four, 57-53. We're headed under a minute to play in the first overtime period. We are under a minute. Leaper out front for the Raiders. Gives it up to Brooks. Brooks to Leaper. Leaper over in the corner to Salt. Raiders, they're not wanting to throw up a three just yet. They need a lot a of time, though. Yep, they're using a lot of time. 45 seconds to play. Jason Brooks, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Botts. Bears on the run. Botts is fouled. 39.3 seconds to play. Jason Brooks, I believe, yes, will be called That's for his the first, foul. I believe. First foul of the night. How about that? And that, no, the Bears are, are still not in the bonus. They'll take it out. They will be at, at, on another foul here. On the far sideline, inbounds to Carpenter. 20 seconds, 29 seconds. There it is. There we go. All right, 31.2 seconds to play in the first overtime. Bears can salt this one away from the free throw line the rest of the way. I told you a little while ago this game would be won by yep. made free throws or missed free throws. Absolutely. And here, here we go. Trevor Carpenter to the line. In and out, no good. Rebound goes to Jason Brooks. So the Raiders get a break. 57-53, Camden Gober, three-pointer, no good. Rebound round Taylor. Carpenter on the run out to Jackson area. Oh my goodness, that's not what they needed. A technical on Bradley. That was an alley-oop off the glass. The Bears tried to make the fancy pass as Jackson Airy is called for a technical. Of all things that could go wrong, Gary, for the Bears, that's one of them. Holy cow. All Carpenter had to do was dribble the ball out. Made it. First technical free throw by Alex Hyder is good. And we're certainly not done yet. 16.9 seconds, second technical free throw by Hyder is good. He's six for six with the free throw line. And He's going to have the ball out of bounds now. 11 points in the game, and Cleveland will get the ball down by two. Just another twist and turn, Gary. <laughs> Gabe Leeper out front, 15 seconds, 13 seconds. Can't let the Raiders get a three-pointer off right here. Camden Gober out front, can't get a three off. Jason Brooks, he's dangerous, three-pointer. No good, rebound box. Two seconds, one second. Foul is called, the, the Bears dodge a bullet. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Foul is on Alex Hyder. That's his first. That'll send Bots to the free throw line, and I don't think they're gonna put any more time back on the clock. I couldn't hear the whistle, Gary. I, I did not think they had, they had called a foul. I didn't either, but I saw the referees did not run off the field, off the court. So, eight, eight tenths of a second. Free throw, Bots, good. And that makes it a three-point game. One more will seal it. 58-55, Bears up by three, eight tenths of a second. Second free throw, zip. The Bears are gonna put it on the win, in the win column. Raiders will just throw it in. 
Long court shot is no good, and that is our final score. 59-55, Bears knock off the ninth-ranked Blue Raiders. The Bears move to 11 and 12 and four on the season, five and two in district play. The Raiders fall to 16 and five overall, six and one in district play. And Gary, <laughs> that was a dandy. I'll tell you what, and we're gonna get Coach Carpenter here right here and talk to him. But I tell you what, Great uh, talk. Hey, let me have you both teams. Here. here we go. Here comes Coach Zach Carpenter. We'll have a talk with him. We're live, Zach. Congratulations on a heart-stopping win. I thought we were going to give it to him and give it to him and give it to him with turnover after turnover after turnover. Five-point lead. You let it get away. We kept the lead though and got the lead back, and, and uh, then we nearly brew it on some really stupid plays. And I'll just leave it at that, you know. But yeah, we we've got to stop having these self-inflicted wounds. Yeah. Um, senseless turnovers we're up four and we're throwing it off the glass uh, i mean that, that's stuff that we we can control that we got to be better than that and that's something that uh will get addressed yeah well you got uh you're five and two now cleveland's got their first loss so you're definitely in the hunt for the district championship now with some tough games coming up with walker here and, and you still got to go to mcmahon county as well well that's what that's what i told the guys before the game i said guys you come out here and take care of business tonight i said you're one game out of first place I said, we'll be right back where we want to be at. You know, we, our, our goal is obviously the top spot, and, and we, did our, we did ourselves a service tonight, put ourselves in a good situation to get back in the hunt. Great crowd, great atmosphere and environment tonight, and, boy, you got your money's worth tonight. <laughs> if you like hey, the crowd was great. Student section was awesome. Hey, the Walker, at Walker the other night, tonight they were awesome. Great atmosphere. These are the kind of games you'd love to play for. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll let you go. Uh, congratulations on the win. I know you got a lot of things people need to talk to. Newspaper TV guys hang around to see you as well. But congratulations on your win tonight. Thank you. That's Coach Zach Carpenter. Bears win at 59-55 in overtime. The Barretts win 60-31. to JV is also swept by the Bears in Barretts. So there you have it. And, Brian, I don't know what else to tell you about a game like this. Uh, what a great game to be involved with. So glad to be able to bring it to you on Mix 104.1 and uh, Mix TV and uh, BCHS.TV and all the good things. And and we we live for these kind of games. Absolutely. And I was thinking we were going to have a close game. I sure couldn't have imagined this. The Bears tried every way in the world to give it away. And the Raiders almost took it. Well, they flat did, you and know. And if, if they'd lost, they deserved to lose yes, it. Yes, that's exactly right. But it, it swung the other way. It could have been anybody's ball game. And, you know, we didn't even really talk a whole lot about how big of an upset this is. Yeah. The Raiders were undefeated in region play and uh, in district play and uh, number nine in the state. Now, that that's something. And uh, we thought it would be a close game. Uh, Bradley had it on their home court, but it, it was an amazing ball game. Coach Carpenter told him before the game, he says, guys, you're one win from first place, one game out of first place if we can pull off the win here tonight, which they did. And congratulations to the Bears. A great effort by both teams. A huge, great crowd here tonight. A great game to be on Mixed TV. Great game to be on the radio or involved in any way, shape, or form. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll come back. Hopefully, we'll have some final scoring stats when we return here in two minutes on our post-game show brought to you by <laughs> someone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Leisure Time Bowling. Yeah, Leisure Time Bowling. We appreciate Leisure Time Bowling. We'll be back in two minutes with more <laughs> live coach here on Mix 104.1. Uh, We're all your games supplied to you by Wholesale Supply.